According to the myth, the mighty Hercules had defeated many of the fiercest beasts in ancient Greece. Terrible creatures unleashed upon him by the vengeful goddess, Hera. These were called the Twelve Labors of Hercules. Down you go! And then flames poured from all nine of the Hydra's heads. Its fiery breath was so hot, you could roast a rabbit on it. Speaking of rabbits, we better catch some or there won't be any dinner tonight. But Hercules and I faced the monster side by side. <laughs> there was no time to be afraid. What was that? Something tells me it's not a rabbit. The Olympian War was yet another of Hera's monsters. A fearsome beast released upon the kingdom of Mycenae to destroy Hercules. Save us, Aeolus! What would Hercules do? This will stop it in its tracks! other qualities unique to each of us that help us to triumph against the odds. This is the story of Hercules and his young friend Aeolus. Would the challenges of the gods destroy them both, or would Aeolus recognize what it took to be a hero before it was too late? Aeolus was a simple sheep herder, and more than anything else, he longed to be a hero like his idol, Hercules. Watch out, Hercules! The ice is thin! Yes, Iolus. Thanks for reminding me. Thanks, Hercules. You saved us. Again. You're welcome, Iolus. You two go straight home. Hercules, wait up! So, Hercules, you still think you rival the gods, do you? Well, I'm not going to let you have a moment's rest. Not until you're crushed. <laughs> The horses of Diomedes were yet another of Hera's curses upon Mycenae, and another labor of Hercules. The ferocious beasts had driven away all the other horses in the kingdom, bringing Mycenae to a standstill. Easy now! The horses of Diomedes will trample the great Hercules to dust! And I will dance for joy on the slopes of Mount Olympus! rescue my brother and sister, I really did. Of course you did, Iolus. Fighting deadly beasts and carrying them on my back is not something I wanted. If you're smart, you won't want it either. Now, wait here. I must deliver the boar to King Eurytheus as Hera has commanded. Hercules, do you think the labors are over now? For the sake of the people of Mycenae, I hope so. But I fear Hera will not stop until she's proven that I'm no match for a god. And then Hercules took the boar by the tusks, rode it right up to Mount Olympus, and offered it to Zeus himself. That's not exactly what happened. What would a shepherd boy know about Hercules? I was there, helping out. <laughs> <laughs> a puny little runt like you help Hercules? That's a laugh. Well, maybe I'm not as strong as Hercules, yet. Come on. Let's see just how strong you are. But, uh, but... Uh, if you can conquer a boar, you can take care of us. Come on, show us how you did it. Well, since you asked, I'll show you. First, I made the boar really mad. 
like this. Then I got them all confused, like this. Then I got the boar to chase me after I shouted, Here I am! Come and get me! Get the little swine! Let's teach him a lesson! And that's how I helped Hercules capture the boar. <laughs> Now that clever little trick would have made it a whole lot easier to capture the boar. I guess so. But if I were as strong as you, those guards wouldn't have challenged me in the first place. Did you hear that? What? That! <laughs> supposed to be after Hercules, not me! I have to get to the lead horse! Where he goes, the others will follow! Hercules, watch out! I can't look! Hercules! He needs my help! Yeah! People of Mycenae in peace. You did it, Hercules! You tamed the most ferocious beast in all of Mycenae with your bare hands! Yes, but at what cost, Iolus? Why, Hera? The people have done nothing to deserve this! This Hercules business has costed me a fortune! Are you blaming the gods for your troubles, Eurythseus? Oh, no, 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 no! I, I'd never do that. Hercules has brought this on himself. He thinks he belongs on Mount Olympus. His arrogance has angered the gods. He's the one to blame for this. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes, of course! Very clear! Suffering citizens, I feel your pain. But it is Hercules who you should blame. He has angered the gods. He is the cause of all our troubles. The king is right. It all started when Hercules came here. Yes, Hercules is to blame. Yeah, it's Hercules. It's not true. Hercules saved you. Tell them, Hercules. There's nothing I can say. Are you satisfied now, Hera? Hercules is an outcast. The people hate him. No, no it's, not, it's enough. not enough. It will never be enough until Hercules is destroyed. Iolus truly wished to prove himself worthy. But to him, a hero had to be physically strong so he could not see the value of his own true strength, his intelligence. I'll never make it. Huh? Very clever, Iolus. You're full of surprises. It's really nothing. You have to teach me how to jump like that. I can't. We'll camp by the lake. Then you'll go home to your family. I of bone and heart of black. Wing of night and claw of blood. <laughs> Do you work well, Hecate? Conjure up terrible creatures. The likes of which Hercules has never faced before, and will never live to face again. You will appreciate the work of the goddess of the night. Of that I am sure. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 
<clears throat> I still can't believe the people were so ungrateful after what you did for them. Is that how they repay you? I did what I had to do. I asked nothing in return. <clears throat> Whoa! That's all the firewood we'll need, Iolas. Huh? Ah! There's a cave! That way! I'm not sure this will be enough against those flying monsters. I wish I could help, but I don't think I could even lift a spear like that. What are you making, Iolas? This? Well, it's just a trap. I thought we could use it to catch us some food without going out where those birds can get us. What made you think of this? It's nothing much. I used to make them to snare rabbits for supper. When you've got brains enough to make something like this, Iolas, you don't need weapons or muscle. Yeah, but we can't catch a spear bird with it. Oh, yes, we can. All right, Iolas. I'll draw the birds into the cage. You spring the trap door. Okay, Hercules. I just wish I could come with you. Stay here, out of sight. Those beasts will tear you to pieces. <laughs> Hera's pets are up to their usual antics. Come on, let's go! Now's my chance. Sorry, Hercules. I only wanted to protect you from those monsters. To prove I was a hero, too. You did what you could, Iolus. But the weak cannot defend themselves against Hera's vengeance. Hercules, where are you going? There's been enough suffering on my account. <gasps> not for me, Hera. It's for the people of Mycenae. They're innocent. They've done nothing to deserve such horrors. I could care less about Mycenae. Go back and await my wrath. <sighs> so, you've destroyed monsters and tamed beasts. But there is one thing you cannot conquer. A god. Yes, and that will be your next labor, Hercules. And your last. <laughs> What's the matter with you? You've been sitting on that rock all day. I'm waiting for the great hero, Hercules. Hercules? Ha! He's no hero. He is so. He is not. He caused Mycenae to be destroyed. Even the gods hate him. Mm -hmm. He saved Mycenae, and the gods do not hate him. They yes, do they so. do. <laughs> Don't talk about Hercules that way, or I'll... <laughs> <laughs> Hercules. 
Hera's dirty work again. This river is the water supply for all of Mycenae. And look at it. Come on, Iolus. We're not going to get anything done from up here. <coughs> what a stink! All this filth is from the Aegean stables. Hera has driven out the farmers and let the land go to waste. And now it's polluting the river. If only there was a way to reroute the river to the stables, the river would wash them clean. That's it, Iolus. That's what we'll do. We'll go upstream where the water is clean and build a dam. Build a dam? Just the two of us? River God, awaken! I must speak with you! Goddess Hela, why do you call upon me? I know who has polluted your waters. He is the mortal Hercules. Hercules. I will send him to a watery grave. Let's see how you fare against the likes of a god now, Hercules. Bring that one over here. I'm... I'm trying. It's all right, Iolus. Just do what you can. Hey! I did it! Stop trying to be like me, Iolus. You have your own strengths. All right, the dam is done. Thank goodness. Now we have to dig a channel to divert the water. How dare you pollute my river! How dare you dam my waters! Hercules! Help! No mortal can conquer me, Hercules! But since you are foolish enough to try, enjoy the ride! Thanks to your brains, Iolus. That was clever, the way you tricked River God. Yeah, I guess it was. You were right all along, Hercules. Being smart is my real strength. <laughs> Sounds like the people of Mycenae have changed their tune. I guess they're happy to have clean water again. I'm not through with you yet, Hercules. Or later, you will fail. Don't worry, we can take anything she can dish out. Right, Hercules? You both now, little boy. But your worst nightmares are yet to come. 
Iolas, there's one more quality that makes a hero. Knowing when to speak, and when not to. Iolas finally learned that heroic deeds don't always depend on physical strength. Intelligence can also be the strength that makes a hero. This was a lesson that would serve him well during the rest of his incredible adventures with the mighty Hercules.